Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Taj Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back to the show Cody the Spartan Stamen. Has a huge fight coming up here, UFC 228 against Aljamain Sterling. What's going on, brother? Hey, doing good. Just uh, finished some practice at home. Going to grow up and go do it all over again. <laughs> I hear you. Groundhog Day. It's the same thing for me. But, you know, you wouldn't rather be doing anything else, right? You're living your dream, basically, right? Uh, no, I love this job. Uh, I can't think of anything uh, that would beat it. I mean, uh, I pretty much do what I want when I want. I'm see, I love I love training, I love fighting, so uh, I want to be in the gym. So I mean, every day is like a freaking vacation. And uh, this is a big vacation because Aljamain Sterling, two twenty eight. Th- this is big time, man. Do you feel like this is? Do you feel like this is finally your chance to prove to uh, the big stage that you belong? Yeah, I mean, I think Brian Taylor was that was that opportunity as a first opportunity I've had. Well, I got Tom Dukin on too, but um, Tom, I fought Tom, same, uh, you know, headlining a prelim. Um, so I feel like this is just me uh, kind of establishing myself uh, in the division as one of the best guys. You know, winning over Aljamain Sterling, you know, puts me right up there, you know, amongst uh, the greats in Bantamweight. Um, so... Uh, you know, after I after I beat the suit up, you know, no doubt anyone's fine that you know I'm I'm uh, one of the next guys that's gonna make a run for the, the title. Yeah, you definitely are, man. I mean, you you mentioned Brian Caraway, uh, UFC 222. You took uh, that decision, very impressive, man. Uh, you're right, that was your your first shot at it, and you did not disappoint. Now that you've had a little bit of time to digest that, what do you, are you satisfied with your performance from the Caraway fight? No, no, no. Uh, that care with the fight, man, honestly, uh, that was one of those fights where I got pretty banged up my training camp. Um, it was probably, uh, you know, I think half my coaches were saying still fight. The other half were like, you know, just wait or we'll wait for another opportunity. Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a really, really good learning experience for me. Um, you know, going in, I, uh, tore my meniscus. I, uh, tore some cartilage in one of my ribs. I mean, I was pretty much refined to just riding an airdyne bike and riding a stationary bike for almost four weeks at the training camp. You know, so I faced a lot of adversity, and uh, I, uh, you know, I had a lot of people in my ear telling me absolutely don't fight. But you know, I think uh, you know, I was like, you know, I can beat this guy. I, I, I watched all his fights. Um, you know, I can beat him even if I'm not having a bad day. Maybe if I don't have the right preparation, I know that I can beat him. And uh, I think more than anything, you know, that, that fight proved to me that, you know, as, as a person, you know, as an athlete, that, you know, I could compete with these elite-level guys, even if, you know, uh, maybe I wasn't 100%. You know, it's more about just getting ready for battle more than anything else. So, I mean, I learned a ton from that fight, but, you know, I, 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 I hate looking back and being like, uh, you know, that was a, you know, that was a great performance or I did all these things right because I didn't really feel like I did. I feel like there's... There was a lot of, you know, holes in my game, uh, a lot of things I did wrong, uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to correct them. I'm going to come out and be a completely different, better fighter this time. I, I know you will, man. You always seem to, uh, you know, you always seem to improve upon your game, which is, is truly remarkable, man, because you you possess a phenomenal record. I mean, you're only 28 years old. You're on a 10-fight win streak. Do you feel like you're just now reaching what you ultimately could be? Do you feel like you're just now hitting your prime? No, I, I don't. I don't think I'm. I don't even quite there, hear that there yet. If I'm being honest, uh, you know, I really, I've, uh, I've really only, you know, started to. I've been training. I've been in the UFC for a year. Um, I feel like there's there's still a lot of growing and a lot of things that I can do mentally. You know, as an athlete, I think two years. I think I will probably be at my peak as an athlete, but I definitely don't think that I'm there yet. Um, you know, I'm continuing to get better. You know, I can see. I can see it. You know, I can see it in my training. My training, uh, my training, my training partners, you know, you can see it. I'm getting better. 
Um, and I, I feel better. You know, I feel stronger. I feel faster. Um, so I, no, I definitely don't think I've peaked yet, but I think that I'm headed in that direction. You know, I'm, I'm one of those guys that's really, really critical. You know, I'm never really satisfied with what I'm doing. Um, I'm always, you know, looking for, looking for, uh, you know, ways to sharpen my tools. And, and I think that's what kept me, uh, kept me alive, kept me winning. And I, I'm never really complacent and happy with, with where I'm at. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm sure that's a huge component in it that, that uh, you know, all the best in the world seem to have that component, and you definitely have that. Uh, how has training camp been this time around, man? Is it a good camp, injury-free, hopefully? Injury-free, thank God. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing. Injury-free, and, uh, you know, I'm in great shape. I started really early. My training camp, uh, my weight, everything, you know, I had a lot more time. I kind of knew this fight was coming. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be earlier in August. I thought it was going to be uh, on this, either on this uh, Nebraska card or it's going to be on the fourth. So I, I've actually, you know, this is basically going to be like a 12 week training camp for me, uh, you know, beating into this fight. And, you know, the extra time, it's getting me sharper. It, it, you know, it just I'm just looking at just my heart rate. You know, I'm going to do a lot of heart rate training. So I like to just do one of those. Uh, it's it's uh it's solid like you know if your heart is recovering fast you know you're in good shape you know there's no there's no question about it and my resting heart rate was 36 it was actually so low that I had to go through all these crazy heart tests uh, I had to go see a cardiologist and get an echocardiogram and do all this blood work to make sure there's nothing wrong with me because I have such a low heart rate and in conclusion they found that I'm just in really really good shape. Um, so, I mean, uh, you know, this fight, honestly, everyone says it like, oh, it's the best fight, the best training camp, this, this, and this. But, honestly, this is the best shape I've ever been in, you know. And, you know, I have the, I have the low heart rate to prove it. Um, it's just that's just now, you know, it's just about drilling and chilling until uh, until fight day. You know, all the hard work is done. I just got to uh, I just gotta show up. But that's great, man. That that's uh, that's crazy that you you're almost you're in too good of shape that they thought something was wrong with you. That's awesome, man. That's truly a testament to what an incredible athlete that you are, Cody. Uh, you know, I, I'd like to give you, you a, f- a few minutes here, man, to shout out uh, your coaches, sponsors, teammates, whatever you'd like, man. Floor is yours. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I gotta I gotta thank uh, you know my guys in Michigan Cup team, everyone that's been doing you know so much to get re- get me ready. Uh, you know, everyone's going out of their way. You know, and it's, it's great. You know, it's, it's something uh, I feel like has has been uh, detrimental to my success. You know, thus far, just have people that really care about me in my corner. Uh, you know, having guys that are you know helping me watch film and, and doing all these things, and it's not it's not even about money. You know, with me and the guys that I train with, like you know, I'm not I'm not paying these guys, and these guys aren't paying me. It's just about you know we're we're just good friends. We're uh, we're a family in this, and uh, you know, and I think that's why we, we've been so successful, and everyone's uh, you know kind of picking each other up. So I think Mission Top Team, you know, thank you for having me uh, having me on, and uh, I look forward to uh, being the shit out of Alden Australian. And uh, on an FS1 card. Well, I can't wait, Cody. I appreciate your time, man. It's going to be a great. Uh, it's going to be a great fight for sure. You against Aljamain Sterling, UFC 228. I appreciate it, Cody. I look forward to uh, having you back on, brother. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Best of luck, man. Thanks. <laughs>